my dear dark ones welcome to my channel today is the pick a pile tarot reading and it's a dark reading so we're talking about uh darkness uh demons uh your magical powers and abilities i will be asking the same questions uh to this two different decks you can pause the video and choose the pile that you like i have two completely different decks as you can see and again because this is a collective reading so you don't really have to choose you can listen to both of them and just take whatever really deeply resonates in your soul and i will be starting with this deck and this is going to be the second deck i already shuffled both of the decks i will shuffle a little bit more and then spread out the deck so it's more even accurate so the first question i want to ask if you do possess um, supernatural gifts or abilities This is quite unusual the cards are actually telling me that you are not a typical witch or wizard or shaman mage practitioner you were born into such a normal family that this was always not in your reality at all so if now you suspect that you are unusual, if you have some kind of spiritual abilities, if you're drawn to the occult, it is only because you are the first person who is going to practice or have these abilities in your family, in your bloodline. Uh, the first card is actually talking about the magical elixir. So this card, usually when I'm asking questions like this, it represents people who are learning everything from scratch like from zero like no one helped you you never had any help from your family probably you've been brought in a religious family so everything that you do it's your own thing and it's not connected to your bloodline but it is connected to your past lives and because of that you're probably going to achieve more than any other practitioner watching now because people who are given this from a childhood they take it for granted and they sometimes don't even practice their abilities but for you because it was kind of a rebellious act you kind of went against your family and everything that you knew so you have an opportunity to become more prominent more famous and more successful in this than anyone you even know uh the second question that i want to ask if you are even though you are born with this but this is not your not even born it's not from your bloodline but it's yours right you have it it's in your soul it belongs to your soul not to your blood uh can you refuse it can you live a normal life without accepting these abilities So you do have an ability to do not accept this gift and refuse it and don't practice it. But with this will come a specific price. So literally you see how dark these cards are. Um, if you don't practice this darkness, this ability that you have, uh, connection with the underworld, with demonic realm, it's still gonna follow you, maybe even torture you because they will try anything they can for you to actually come into your power right also this um if you were unlucky in love if you feel like there was some kind of spell done or a curse you know done on your bloodline so none of you have it have it easy in love or you always uh, suffer and you might be even single now it is because you are not practicing you're not accepting your gifts you're not accepting who you are what you are so this is kind of like punishment so yes you don't have to become a practitioner but i feel if you want to be happier in life and especially in love you have to uh, practice more you have to actually practice at least in your 
you don't have to become a professional who takes money for that, right? Uh, someone like me. But you do have to incorporate magic into your life in order to become happier. So next question. Um, this is an interesting question, actually. I want to ask if meditation is something that you need to do in order to come into your power. Because I know a lot of you guys are trying to meditate and it doesn't work for you. So I really want to know if this is something that you should do. No, meditation is not for you. Uh, you actually... Uh, can tune into your power more if you are more um, this card actually says travel right so when you're more active like when you're traveling when you're changing um, where you are when you're actually active even when you for example go to a gym or for a walk you connect it to your supernatural abilities to your higher self more rather than when you're just sitting quietly in your room trying to meditate so meditation is definitely not your tool if you want to awaken your hidden abilities the next question that i'm asking if you have guardian demons i feel like um i feel like that you don't feel the presence or you want to have a guardian demon but you don't feel that you connected to one right uh i think the only time when you understand or see that there is a demonic presence in your life is when is when something really bad happens and you um you're so angry that when you say something uh maybe like you curse people or you uh you wish deep inside for this person who is angry in you to receive something bad right this is happening so you can see that someone is guarding you and they're doing um uh, bad things to people who are not good to you or when you're really angry and you see like that the universe is shifting like your life is shifting everything is like changing you see the results of your anger this is i think the only time when you're actually connected to your demons because probably your magic is so dark and it's so powerful so for you the easiest way to invoke it now it's through your anger through uncontrollable emotions it's like your magic is very chaotic right it's chaos magic and that's when you feel the presence of your demons the next question if you want if what that i want to ask is do you have uh, a demon lover because again as i said if you're not happy in love there is a possibility that there is a demon that is in love with you and uh, usually this connection doesn't allow you to have a human love um you don't have this connection uh, because i feel like uh first of all you don't want it and probably even if it's gonna happen you're not gonna accept it also if it happens you you won't be able to feel it or realize it it's like i feel that those of you who were really drawn to this pile i feel that your eyes are closed to the supernatural maybe you try to open them up uh, or maybe you prefer to be on the side of the receiver like a client or someone who watches uh, youtube readings or tarot readings like um you prefer to pay for magic maybe because you're scared of the consequences so you even scared to think about this again if it doesn't resonate it's a collective reading it really shouldn't uh, resonate with everyone who's watching but there is a possibility of literally this card that's talking about new experiences so and you see it's very dark card and there is a possibility for you to have a demon lover if you will be more open to this if you reflect if you accept your darkness if you accept your power there is a possibility and um i want to ask if actually this is your life path to be dedicated to the occult to the darkness that surrounds you if this is something that you should consider seriously this is 
this is a hundred percent yes all the cards are upright uh very strong yes also the cards kind of telling me a story that if you if you tune in into your power this will be the end of this foggy um times and of this i would say you know you will feeling like you're in some kind of void it's like you can see yourself from a side like you're watching a cartoon or a movie that you are main lead character so if you accept your darkness if you accept your guides and magical abilities this will be the end of this the clarity will come you will have you will find a new home you probably leave everything behind and this card talks about it, it literally says new queen <clears throat> and you see she's surrounded by these mythological creatures supernatural creatures right so for you if you go into the unknown into this journey of discovering yourself you will have the support you don't even have to look back you don't even have to try hard you will be the one of these people who will have it easy no struggles nothing if you've been thinking how to do that um i get from these cards that you have to do some kind of pilgrimage you know leave everything behind take only necessary things and go far away in a place you've never been before literally across the ocean and do something crazy it could be pilgrimage where you just walk or climb a mountain go to meditation retreat you have to do such a drastic change that actually going to take you away from your routine and that's where you're gonna learn about yourself the most because where you are no magic you don't see it nothing happens and that's why you lost because you're in a place that it's not yours you need to experience something unusual in order for you to feel alive so that's what needs to be done if you actually want to become someone special a prodigy someone who leaves a legacy behind um the good thing is looking at this card i feel the universe is very open to you maybe even that's why you're receiving this message that the time is now literally if you look for the opportunity the opportunity will present itself very easy and you have the ability to change your life and to live the way you always dreamt of and honestly you have the opportunity to literally build your, build your own castle and have everything you ever wanted so maybe go for it change your mindset and be more courageous and dare to live the life the way you want it so that's that's all for this pile for this deck I was asking six questions because six is the most <laughs> dark, amazing number. And now I will move on to the second pile, the second deck. It's also already shuffled because I shuffled for quite some before I start readings. Um, and I will be asking the same questions. Uh, the first questions. The first question is: Do you have supernatural gifts or abilities? I feel like it is good. This is probably the most unusual answer that I can see. You think that you don't have supernatural gifts and abilities. You think that you are very normal. If for you, uh, being into a cult or trying all of these things, it feels like so normal and you think that everyone is like that. But your supernatural gifts and abilities are connected to your bloodline you really do come if you can see on this uh, card uh, so many people right at the at the core at the top of this for a one that looks like like sigil right you come from probably the most witchy and powerful bloodline ever and you probably don't even know all of these people who are probably changed the course of history but your blood 
is very special. It's magical, it's unique, and you connect it to ancient power that can control even demons. Also, there is a very interesting, like, um, I don't even have a specific word for it. There is an activation code, I would say, for you in order to get activated, to come into this ancient power that already belongs to you, you need another person. You literally need someone, uh, probably someone that you probably are going to fall in love deeply. And it's not necessary means that the person will become your lover, but this is the person who will ignite your passion, your love. And this person will kind of invoke your inner magic in you. This person will become your guide, guru, teacher, probably... Uh, some of you watching, you already met, met this person because I feel this, it's kind of already activated. So you probably have this person on your mind the moment I start talking about this. Uh, you know someone. So it was a part of your journey, part of your destiny, part of your uh, lifetime purpose to meet this person and get activated. You guys come from ancient times. You've been doing magic together. So you have to be um, in love with each other? No, because you've been in love with each other so many times. In this lifetime, you just have to help each other. The person uh, supposed to invoke you, awaken you, and make you powerful, inspire you, guide you. And you're supposed to follow this person, and you're supposed to help them uh, you're supposed to give them something in return. It could be something very physical, like uh, objects, things, gifts, um, money, something that maybe for you doesn't mean anything, but for them, it helps them on their path because they also need the confirmation that they have uh, a reason to be here. Also, how do you know this person? It's when you interact, it could be even someone online, someone you don't meet physically, but when you interact, it's like your body starts uh, reacting. You feel, um, you know, unusual emotions. You feel like you're falling in love. It could be even um, not romantic love, but you just like brother, sister kind of emotions and love, right? So you feel that you know this person, you recognize this person, you feel that you heard and seen and understood, and you feel like this person, when you two speak or just messaging, you feel more alive than when you actually talk to any other human being who, in front, who is in front of you. And you have this unusual sensation in your um, heart, you know, in the area where your heart, or um, in your neck that there is something unusual, you know, and you start vibrating on higher frequencies. You have unusual thoughts and emotions, feelings. So you need this activator, <laughs> I would say, this person who activates you, who tunes you into magic and into yourself. Uh, the second question is, can you refuse this gift? Uh, can you refuse meeting this person? Uh, can you refuse magic? It's the same. It's a strong yes. Uh, you can refuse this person. By this, you will be refusing the best friend or lover of your lifetime. You will refuse in money. You see King of, King of Pentacles reversed. You literally refuse in power and money. And Queen of Pentacles. This is so crazy because we're talking about power that comes from another person, right? So it needed two people to activate your own power. By refusing this, you're refusing the connection that even either bring children, again, magical children, if it's a romantic relationship, or it can bring uh, money, power, throne, kingdom, you know? So... Yes, of course, we all have a free will, so we can refuse anything we want. By, but by refusing this, you're kind of refusing and saying no to the most amazing things that you can have. The next question, I'm still going to ask if you need to meditate in order to come to your power, in order to connect 
um, with the universe, with your person, with your power, with your higher self. So for you guys, I already can see it. Meditation is everything. Literally, if you want to connect to your higher self, it is through meditation only. Look how powerful the card is. So meditation for you is everything. Uh, the more you meditate, the more powerful you become. So please do meditate um, in a normal, classical way. Learn how to meditate correctly. And that's your way to come into your power. The next question is, do you have a guardian demon or demons? This is so crazy. Uh, you do want to have them. You do feel connected. You actually uh, suspect that you have guardian demons. But in reality, in reality, you are the guardian demon to many people and to yourself. You do possess the powers that you need from demons. You are one of them. Probably that's why you come from such an ancient, amazing, powerful bloodline. That's why you have this person, a human who activates you, mortal soul. Because this is the only way for you to come into your dark demon power. So you don't even need them because you're one of them. I'm also going to ask if you have um, a demon or demoness who is in love with you. That's already yes, uh, strong yes. All of the cards are bright, so it's a very strong yes. Uh, interesting numbers. I want to see that this is six, nine, and seven. Uh, seven is a path of a person who gets the power while not being at home, traveling, uh, spreading knowledge, ritual magic, as you can see. And this shows me that not only that you have a demon lover that comes probably from your bloodline, um, it's the one who kind of attached to your bloodline, but you also get demons whenever you go to. For example, if you go to which a supernatural metaphysical store, if there is um, any demon present, they're gonna live with you because they're attracted to you because you're unusual. You are a demon in a human skin. So you attract so many lovers, so many demons like that, that for you being in a normal relationships, like a normal person is probably something unnatural to you. And with time, even though you're trying to have normal relationships, you probably see that it's not something that you're good at or you even enjoy and probably you will go away from normal human relationships and you will only be happy with someone um, as crazy and unusual as you are or with this person who activates your power. So the next question is, um, do you need to practice your gifts? Do you need to become a practitioner? Do you need to take it seriously? I see that this is such a dramatic question for many of you watching. You've been thinking about this, you've been fighting this. Uh, the answer is, no matter what you think and no matter how you feel about this and no matter how hard you want to be normal, uh, it's a yes, you do have to practice, you do have to become practitioner. And this is for you the only way to, as you see, to come into your power through meditation and uh, to reach all magic through darkness. For you, there is no running away. Um, you see, even the first card, it talks about uh, fighting with many people, with obstacles, with uh, situations, with your own inner demons, with your own inner like darkness, inner child, your ideas of how the life should be, how you should be as a person, your family too, and society as well. Like everything is, you feel sometimes that everything is against you. So every step is rebellious step. Every step that you take uh, is a difficult one, difficult decision, and you probably never had it easy in your life, and you're probably one of this, that um, you have to work so hard for the things that for others seem to be so easy, like giving away. 
uh, you are the opposite of the first pile. The first pile people, they are more lucky in everything that you do. Uh, and for you, there is nothing about luck. It's all about your determination and your mind. The more you believe in yourself, the more you set up this goal in front of you, the more the more difficult it's probably going to be for you, but the more rewarding because you can reach um, such a niche in your practice that you will be the most probably expensive practitioner. You will have a lineup. Uh, you will be so VIP, you know, and people will want to, it's like a legacy uh, or it's like a crazy dream come true to go to you for, for your ritual because you will be such an amazing practitioner. Um, I do recommend you to think very seriously uh, about becoming a supernatural practitioner, which mage, um, shaman, energy healer, doesn't matter. You can work with sounds, you can work uh, with meditation, you can predict the future, you can read past lives, you can become a channeler. It doesn't matter what you choose because you can do anything. For you, um, choosing this life, especially if you already started but you don't see the results, probably you are a tarot reader or astrolo astrologer, you do natal charts, but you don't see the results, you don't see clients. The reason why is because you have to conquer yourself and the world around you. You have to give up everything and then you will receive everything. So very difficult path, um, difficult decision, but it is up to you. So if you're a practitioner, if you don't see results, it's probably because you're doing it a vanilla way, you know, you're trying to be nice and light and, you know, you're trying it the light worker way but you have to do it the dark witch way you are one of these people who decide if you are the chosen one if you choose to be the chosen one you will be the chosen one and the whole world will believe you because for you you can be anything because you come from a special bloodline you're a special soul you're not even mortal or human and for you to bend the laws of this reality, of this 3D, it's something that you need to do because this is something that what you are. I guess I'll stop here. Um, my beautiful creatures, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please let me know if one of these piles actually describes you to the core, if you feel that a first pile or second pile is actually very you. Uh, it would be very interesting to hear. Also, tell me if your path as a practitioner was an easy one or if it's a difficult one. I would love to hear from you. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.